Hey there, guys. Um, as you can see, this is a new Let's Play of, as you can see, Portal 2. Now, anyone who's watched the channel for a while may remember that I actually did attempt a Let's Play of this game years ago. In fact, the videos might still be up on the channel somewhere. But, anyone who also watched any of those videos will know that they are nothing like my old Let's Plays in that I didn't, um, do an iteration, and I also only did a single test chamber per video, meaning the Let's Play would have been ridiculously long. And, uh, this Let's Play is already one of the longer ones I've done, um, at 21 parts, so I decided, I recently replayed the game and decided, you know what, I think I can Let's Play this. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Uh, this brings Good. back memories. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. I have a little story for you guys. This was There's the very first Steam game I ever played. Go stand so, in front of it. this is art. You will hear a buzzer. So, you hear the buzzer. Stare at so the buzzer. I definitely have quite a bit of nostalgia for this. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Now, please return to your bed. Oh, I wish I could return to my bed at like 6 a.m. when I'm recording this. But my fucking sleep schedule is messed up, so I might as well just start getting this you out. Been in suspension for nine, nine, I need to get these files nine, off my computer because these nine, fucking nine, files are ridiculously hello? large. Anyone oh, wait. Hello. Hello. Are you going to open the door at any time? Ah! Oh, God, God. You look. Te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Okay, Ben. Um... Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, but okay, don't be alarmed, then. all right? Uh, although, if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Grapefruit. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. That was an old joke. I remember I, whenever I played this segment, I would always say that to him. Please pick when he asked me to. Oh, shit. Okay, look. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing By the way, don't there? worry about Still this. I'm pretty on. sure... From what I've observed, the that you can't actually out. fall out. So of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know about the life functions of the ten thousand bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Space. I don't think you're gonna make it uh, through. Just, just gotta get through here. No. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. Ugh. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. 
All right, not dead. Okay, pretty much okay, alive. Got it. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. Then why does it say so docking one, station? Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Okay. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Go. Uh, there we go. All right. We made it. Oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. And in some cases, that's just all you need, that's I guess. The spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to I emergency testing stopped. protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. And as you can see, we can see the character model, just like the first portal game. I don't know why I needed to demonstrate that. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very, are very slim. slim. Okay, then. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Oh god, to quote Beast Wars here for a second, I, I was so used to playing the segments later with the portal gun, because I recorded all of this in the past few days, uh, at least the, the video footage. Uh, to quote Beast Wars, I feel naked without my gun. <laughs> if you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your that head. That doesn't sound good. Okay, now this puzzle, I remember getting a little bit stuck on this when I was younger, but bear in mind, I was only 10 when I was, oh, I'm trying to demonstrate here that you're not actually really holding the cube, it's just sort of floating a few feet in front of your face. That's a thing that all Valve games have, uh, but it's only really visible in ones where you can see the character model. Like in Half-Life 2, I'm pretty sure Gordon exists as just a pair of hands, so you wouldn't be able to see it there. But if you get stuck on this puzzle, you, you really okay. shouldn't be playing this because game. Because of the technical I'm difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Okay, sounds good. Alright, Aperture Laboratories. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Oh boy. Well, um... Hopefully the Earth isn't governed by one of those things. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Hmm. Unstable floor. Hello? Okay. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you ask that first. I'm ah, there it is. I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. Now I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Sounds good. Go team. Good. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, um... Well, we're getting close to the end of this part, but... Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with the legal military yet. androids. 
Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read. And, and yes, I am going to destroy as many of the cameras as I can uh, again. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detained time, in the lives of robots, yelling please at me about it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Alright, so I'll see you guys when I do the next part of this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.